Hello and welcome to our tutorial on Settle 3. For today's tutorial, we'll be modeling an embankment as it's constructed, deconstructed, and analyzed over multiple stages. Through this tutorial, you'll learn about Settle 3 Embankment Designer, advanced staging, increasing an embankment's width, adding embankment layers, and assigning properties from published data. So, if you're ready to get started, open up your Settle 3 software and follow along. Begin by going to your project settings. You can access this by selecting Analysis and then Project Settings in the menu, or by clicking on the Project Settings icon in the toolbar. The Project Settings option is used to configure the main setup parameters for your model. For this tutorial, we'll begin in the General tab and ensure the stress units are set to metric and the settlement units are set to centimeters. Next, click on the Stages tab. Settle 3 allows you to perform an analysis in any number of user-defined stages. Staging represents the sequence in which you would like to define and analyze your model. For example, loads can be applied at different stages in any sequence. For this tutorial, our model will have 11 stages. Click OK to close the dialog. Next, we'll define our soil properties. Select Soils and then Soil Properties in the menu or click on the Soil Properties icon in the toolbar. For this tutorial, we'll assume a 2-meter layer of sand on top of a 10-meter layer of clay. To create this, begin by changing the name of Material 1 to Sand. To choose a unit weight, click on the Choose Material Property icon to the left of the box where the unit weight is entered. You'll see a dialog that specifies some unit weights from literature. Under Filter List, choose Sand to show only unit weights for sand. Then select Poorly Graded Sands. You can see at the top of the dialog that the unit weight is set to the midpoint of the given range for poorly graded sands. This is fine. Click OK to close the dialog. For primary consolidation, set the material type to linear. We'll use these default values in the Soil Property dialog. Now, click on the tab for Soil Property 2 to enter the properties for the clay layer. Begin by changing the name of the material to clay. For unit weight, click on the icon to show typical values and filter to show only clay values. Choose clays, typical, normally consolidated. Then click OK. For primary consolidation, click the icon to choose a value for CC. Filter the values for clay and choose normally consolidated medium sensitive clays. There's no data available for CR, so leave the default value as 0.1. Choose a value for the void ratio by clicking on the icon next to E0. Filter the list to show only clays and select sandy clay, then click OK. Now click OK to close the soil properties dialog. After defining the material properties, we create the soil strata using the Soil Layers dialog. Select Soils and then Soil Layers in the menu, or click on the Soil Layers icon in the toolbar. By default, the dialog has the first layer defined with the first material defined in Soil Properties. Change the thickness of the first soil layer to 2 meters. Click the button for Insert Layer below, then set the thickness of this layer to 10 meters. Click OK to close the dialog. Now that we've defined the soil strata, it's time to build the embankment. We'll simulate the construction history of the embankment by first building it upwards, then extending it horizontally, and then gradually removing it. We'll begin this with the initial embankment construction. Select Loads, and then Add Embankment in the menu, or click on the icon in the toolbar. You'll see the Embankment Designer dialog. This dialog allows you to find the two-dimensional cross-section of the embankment, which is then extruded and placed. Begin defining the embankment by changing the number of layers to 3. Set the near-end angle and far-end angle to 70 degrees. We want to add the three layers in three different stages, so change the stage for layer 2 to stage 2, and the stage for layer 3 to stage 3. Leave all other parameters as default, and then click OK to close the dialog. 
you'll now be prompted to enter the near point for the embankment center line. Enter 0, negative 50, and then hit Enter. Now you'll be prompted to enter the far point. Enter 0, 50, and hit Enter. You'll now see an embankment that is 100 meters long. You may need to zoom out in the plan view. Click the Zoom All button to see the entire embankment. To see the settlements caused by the embankment, we can add a query line. Query lines allow you to view results along the horizontal line at any depth in your soil profile. In the 3D view, the line query results are also used to generate contours on a vertical plane passing through the line query. To add a query line, go to the Query menu and select Add Query Line. Leave the default properties and click OK. You'll have to enter the start and finish points for the query line. Enter negative 20 and 0, then press Enter. Then type 20 and 0 and hit Enter again. You'll briefly see the Compute Progress indicator. After a few seconds, you should see the query line with the settlement results contoured in the 3D view. You can rotate the model in the 3D view and zoom in to see the settlement profile for Stage 1. Click on the tab for Stage 2 and you'll see the second layer of the embankment has been added and the settlement has increased. Stage 3 shows further construction and further settlement. The plan view gives you the minimum and maximum settlement along the query line. If you don't see these values, just right-click on the query line, choose Query Display Options, and check the box to display minimum and maximum values. Now save this model by going to File, Save As, before we continue with the rest of the tutorial. We can now simulate the widening of the embankment by using the Advanced option in the Embankment Designer. Right-click on the embankment and choose Embankment Properties to open the dialog. Click on the Advanced button and you'll see the Advanced Embankment Staging dialog. Select the Advanced Staging checkbox and then click the Add button. You'll now see that you have the ability to add to the left or the right of the embankment. We built the original embankment in stages 1, 2, and 3, so we'll now widen it in stages 4, 5, and 6. Change the stage to stage 4. Change the layer to 1, and under Add to the left, enter 5 meters. This will now extend the bottom layer of the embankment 5 meters to the left in stage 4. Click the Add button two more times and fill in the dialog to extend the other two layers by 5 meters as well. So for Stage 5, select Layer 2 and enter 5 meters. For Stage 6, select Layer 3 and enter 5 meters. Then click OK to close the Advanced Embankment Staging dialog. You'll now be back in the Embankment Designer. You can see how the three layers have been extended to the left. When you click OK, Settle will take a few seconds to calculate the new settlement information. Now click through stages 4 to 6 and observe the construction of the embankment and changes in the calculated settlement through the stages. Now that the embankment has been extended, we want to add another layer. From the Loads menu, select Edit and choose Properties. In the Plan view, click on the embankment and hit Enter. You'll see the Embankment Designer once again. Change the number of layers to 4. For the fourth layer, change the stage to Stage 7. You can see that the top layer automatically extends over the original embankment width plus the extension. Now click OK to close the dialog. After a few seconds, click on the tab for Stage 7, and you should see the maximum settlement of 47.7 centimeters. We can now remove the embankment layer by layer and observe the effects on the settlement. 
Right-click on the embankment and choose Embankment Properties. The main embankment designer allows you to remove the entire embankment at some stage. However, since we want to dismantle the embankment layer by layer, we need to click on the Advance button. In the Advanced Embankment Staging dialog, click the Add button. Recall that we added the top layer in Stage 7, so we'll remove it in Stage 8. Change the stage to Stage 8, leave the layer as 4, and then check the box for Remove. Click the Add button three more times and remove layers 3, 2, and 1 in Stages 9, 10, and 11 respectively. Then click OK to return to the Embankment Designer, and click OK to close the dialog. After a few seconds, click through stages 8 to 11 and observe the change in embankment geometry and settlements as layers are removed. When we get to stage 11, we can see the calculated settlement for the stage is 32.1 centimeters. The settlement here is greater than zero, even though there is no load. This is because the clay layer is hysterectic, i.e. it's stiffer during unloading than during loading. Therefore, there's some permanent settlement even after the load is removed. For more advanced embankment design, Settle 3 has introduced the Embankment Cross-Section Designer. With this dialog, users can use coordinates or the drawing tools to create user-defined shapes for their embankment layers. To learn more, go to the Rock Science website and check out the Embankment Cross-Section Designer tutorial, or Stay tuned for our next Settle 3 video. Thanks for following along with this tutorial on Settle 3. We hope you learned some useful skills for creating and analyzing your own embankment model. If you'd like to see more videos like this, you can check out our many playlists on Rock Science YouTube channel. Also, make sure to subscribe and follow us on social media to get the latest Rock Science updates. See you next time.